the first one is put up a fight the bible says in here that when the evil spirit goes out of a man he goes to dry places dry places and interestingly enough in the dry place he could not find rest he found rest in a clean place but he couldn't find a rest in a dry place one of the reasons he couldn't find a rest in a dry place i believe is because just because that place was dry that place was not willing to put up with demons living there demons are gonna find rest anywhere they are not resisted anywhere they are not fought against demons will find rest anywhere they are not fought against anywhere they are welcomed anywhere they are assisted they will find rest there many times when a person gets free when a person receives prayer and they feel a sensation they feel this knowing God set me free they go from the service and they say I don't want to drink no more I'm not going to look at pornography no more they take that pack of cigarettes and they dump it on the way home maybe they practice a homosexual lifestyle and say you know what I'm not going that lifestyle no more it's gonna take me time to rebuild my feelings and my you know my my, my consciousness and my mind but I'm not gonna go in that lifestyle no more a person who used a razor to relieve their pain throw that away and say you know what Jesus's blood is enough I'm not gonna do that again and they felt that power but this is what happens three four days later they don't feel that again on the opposite what they will begin to feel again is old thoughts coming back old feelings flocking at them and a person begins to feel dry emotionally have you been dry have you, you know what I'm talking about will you feel like I don't feel what I used to feel at Wednesday night that presence that hype that excitement that drive that good vibes they left and it feels like I actually never got free in the first place because same feelings are crouching back and the lie of the enemy is this I've never been free in the first place all of that was a good pep talk and it was Vlad and others manipulating my emotions that's exactly what happened to Israel Israel got free from Egypt walked with boldness from Egypt for three days and three days later Pharaoh assembled his chariots and did not go meet Israelites to give them a farewell gift he went back to take him back to slavery and when Israel saw that dryness came in inside and what did they say? Moses you lied to us. All of that was fake and we knew it. They experienced exactly the same thing we all experience and God tells Israelites do not be afraid and don't surrender. God says I want you to keep fighting. I want you to keep going through and I will give you a victory. Do not give up in your dry place after you get free put up a fight Satan is not as persistent as he claims to be Satan is not as persistent as he appears to be the Bible says resist him and he will flee that means he has a very small persistence level he's very impatient devil and if you stand your ground in your dry place he will leave you alone 